All right, so now we have to pick a joint in which we want to start to do the method of joints. Looking at this, the easiest one is probably going to be A. And so we'll start with this and we draw our free body diagram. So here is joint A. If we have a free body diagram at joint A, we have RAX, we have RAY, and then we have the two members. We have member AC and we have member AB. So we just draw those in. That would be the force of AC, and this would be the force of AB. Now this is a pretty easy one because there's no angles. The X forces have to balance out and the Y forces have to balance out. Therefore, we're gonna have to have a force this way. So FAC is gonna have to be equal to 240 pounds in the opposite direction, and FAB is this going to have to be equal to 300 pounds, but in the opposite direction? Now, because we know that, we can put that over here for C. So FAC is also equal to 240 pounds. And because these arrows are directed inward, specifically this one, those are under tension. Same thing with this, because FAB is directed inward, the opposite of the reaction force, it must also be under tension. We can even draw that down here, and FAB is also equal to 300 pounds. Now, moving along, we have to find either uh, the, the member at point C or the member at point B. Good news is it's going to be the same, Newton's third law. I can use either of the two, and if you look at it, you have 200, 40, 300. So here's how we do the method of, of of joints. We've got joint C. We always start with our free body diagram. We know we have FAC. We have the weight, which is 300 pounds, put onto it. Again, we always draw members in tension, so we will draw FBC inward like so. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either the X or the Y because we know that this inner angle is 51.3 degrees due to our geometry, let's just do sum of forces in the X. Sum of forces in the X is equal to FAC plus FBCX, or sum of forces, those equal zero, sum of forces in the X equals zero, is equal to FAC plus FB, times then the cosine, FBC that is, times the cosine of 51.3 degrees. I know FAC, so we can put the numbers in. I'm also going to subtract that to the other side. So negative 240 pounds is equal to FBC times the cosine of 51.3 degrees. Divide both sides by the cosine of 51.3. And you'll get the answer of 384 FBC is 300 negative 84 pounds. Because it is a negative, we know that negative means compression. And therefore, those forces will be directed outward in our final free body diagram. FBC is 384 pounds. And then we'll also put it over here. So FBC 384 pounds. And that is again under compression. Looking at each joint, we see that we have balanced free body diagrams and therefore we've completed our truss calculation for the third truss.